playing another game, The Whole Truth and Nothing But the Truth. The Whole Truth and Nothing But the Truth. You can elaborate on some of these answers. We love it. All right. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, I know this for sure. Alyssa Milano. I had her in my locker and I wrote a letter completely expecting her to return the letter. Like, I even might have put my school picture in it. Like, and I was like, I'm just waiting for a reply. And I'm sure Alyssa Milano is going to get back to me. And then, guys, ladies, okay, I'm sorry, but I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. Favorite job before getting into showbiz? Definitely not selling life insurance, but I will say that it prepared me the most. That and waiting tables prepared me the most for acting because you had to create a character. I mean, yeah. if I'm gonna show up at your house and say, hey, let's talk about the day you die and uh, give me some money, would yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> like that's what an insurance yeah. agent does. All of those things, you had to create a character and you had to get some energy into it. Yeah. Or else you would just, just yeah. so that. there's a lot of uh, sales jobs yeah. that I would do, but favorite job, I don't think I had a favorite no. job until I landed an acting job yeah. know, on Passions probably. You modeled before acting. I hate big, it. Big Abercrombie and Fitch campaign, right? I was right? an Abercrombie and Fitch model. <laughs> I hated it. Everyone was on the outside looking in, Yeah. and I was on the inside looking out. Yeah. And I found, when I found actors, that were on the inside looking out and not so focused on how are my abs, how are, like. Yeah, right, right, right. It was right, very right. Zoolander, like, nailed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, nailed yeah. Nailed it, you know? <laughs> how do I look, hmm? oh, Yeah. As I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm just thinking about how you think I, I look. I look, right, right, <laughs> you know? right. That's what the modeling industry yeah. like to me. Ooh, this is such a good question, I love this. Your best celebrity impression. Do you do impressions? I don't do impressions, but I will say this. I saw Jack Nicholson outside of a restaurant. Danielle and I ran into him, we're in Aspen. And I turned and I'm like, oh my God, it's Jack Nicholson. I may never get this chance again to say hi. I'm like, hey Jack, uh, I'm Ryan McPartland. I'm an actor in LA. <laughs> and he just goes, good for you. <laughs> just looks at me like that, I go. Nailed it. Oh my God, I'm like, that's the best <laughs> thing you could have ever said to me. And I started walking away, I go, thanks Jack, Yeah. perfect, thanks. I started walking away and it, it was like, he stopped me by going, he took one more drag and I could hear the drag as I was walking away, he's like, best job in the world. So good. And I turned back and I go, you know what Jack? It is the best job in the world. <laughs> oh my God, that's an incredible story. It was I amazing. Love that. It was amazing. That is so cool. Yeah. Love it. Okay, the strangest thing you know too much about. Oh, that's a tough one. So it, it could be anything from obviously we're in the food industry with plate therapy. So there's a lot of fillers in food. So you don't want to be around me if you're trying to enjoy like your Chick fil A or Ooh, anything. Yeah. Anything you're in the middle of enjoying, I could right, ruin, ruin for you yeah. very quickly. My son Dylan's like, can you just let me enjoy my meal and then tell me after how bad <laughs> it, is it is for me. me. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to food, there's a lot of stuff that I have problems with. And I'm just like, just look at the ingredients, guys. Yeah. Look at the ingredients and you're gonna see for yourself. The most rebellious thing you did as a teenager. Man, when it comes to rebellion, um, I was one of those kids that was watching Dennis the Menace and thinking like that looks fun. So I, I started out just by lighting fires, and, you know, in the forest, which I shouldn't have been, just to get the little fire going. I would cook hard boiled eggs and, and slice them up. Remember the slicer? Yes. Like, for the high, hard yes. boiled egg? It's a, and for some reason I thought it was a good idea to put that into my neighbor's mailbox and then ring the doorbell. I mean, what a jerk. What a terrible- Where did you get that idea from? Who, like, if that was my kid today, I'd be like, that's me serial murder. Right, right, like, yeah, that, that because it's gonna, so random. That kid's gonna tie people up and put them in a basement yeah, one day. Yeah, seriously. Like, so random that to do all that really stuff. really random. If you had a fragrance, what would it be called? If I had a fragrance, it would be called, that's a really good question. I think that it would have to be, Really masculine, but with a hint of femininity. Okay. Let's come up with it together. Something that has okay. to do with like um, living on a lake 
you know, and when you close your eyes, you're just kind of like feeling the warm breeze okay. and feeling the, the uh, water rocking. So um, I'm going to go with, just because it's my favorite place okay. in the world, Lake Geneva. Hmm. Lake Geneva. That would be that's good. That's going to be the name of it because that's what I, that's that's the, the, that's that's what I would want you to think of that. me. Yeah. And it's actually where I want my ashes to be spread when, uh, when so get a little bottle of Lake Geneva on you, spray it on you, you're going to smell like Ryan, you're going to feel like it, my spirit may haunt you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I thought perhaps you would just name it Awesome. Oh, well, that's not a bad, that's a, that's a good marketing ploy, I guess. Why not, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I love it. All right, what's something you love that everyone else hates? Uh, what do you think? Your VO. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You know what? My wife just shined in. Smell this. Okay. Smell this. Okay. Be honest. Uh, you're off camera. Wow. Be honest. So, wow. So, my, my wife says my body odor <laughs> is something I I'm love. I'm not kidding you. Now I'm surprised. I am surprised that, you, that when I asked if you had a fragrance, what would it be and what would it be called? It could just be Ryan's B.O. Oh, 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 Ryan's B.O. Yeah, oh. So, <laughs> I do love my B.O. I, I honestly it. feel like I could sniff it all day long. <laughs> That is But fantastic. it's covered up with like coconut secret right, right now. Right, right. Oh, I'm using nice. my wife's deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Three things you must do every day. Three things I must do every day. Yeah. I must work out. Okay. I have to do it for my mental health, my physical health, everything. It's like an endorphin thing. I must like take a, either a 10 minute meditation okay. or nap. Okay. Just to kind of reset myself for the rest of the day, I, I must check my email and like do oh. all of that every day. And unless I'm on vacation, yeah, I feel stressed if I don't get that to do list checked off. Yeah, uh, not really fun stuff. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have to do that um, yeah. check in with family. I mean, that's it, you yeah. know, my family or my extended family. Yeah. But yeah, just check in with everybody. Last question. Your worst habit that you'll never break. Man, you know what? I don't know if it's the worst or the best. Okay. <laughs> habit okay. that I'll never break. I love to read the newspaper. Mm. I try not to be the doomsdayer who's like, guys, if you rinse your sinuses, you might get a brain eating amoeba. <laughs> right. Like, oh because, like, or, like, I don't think we could ever swim in Lake Mead again because we might get a brain-eating amoeba. Yeah, and yeah. that's things, like, my friends love to do. Right. But there's a lot of good information mm -hmm. in L.A. Times that I'll pick up. And so I try and share some good news, too. Oh, if Dave Grohl just cooked for 500 homeless yes. people, I try and share that good news yes. as well, just so I'm not the Debbie Downer Right, all right, the time. right, 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 right. But I am afraid of brain eating amoebas. Yeah, who's not? Who's not? Ooh. You know. All right. Awesome. Thanks for playing yeah, that with me.